What's going on YouTube? Crypto Matrix here coming at you with another cryptocurrency stream. And guys, right now the Bitcoin price is possibly forming an ascending triangle. I want to show you guys exactly where you can get in on a trade, whether we break bullish or bearish. And guys, institutions and miners just started accumulating again through the Bitcoin big sell-off there. Guys, if they're accumulating, it's definitely some bullish times. Guys, I have a lot to go over. And guys, I wanted to show you guys all these epic comments. I'm on a long out of the descending wedge, up 10%, 10x, so freaking exciting. You rock, dude, this is wild. Epic trades, bro, I got 40% on the long. Not as pretty as yours, though. Well done, man, that's just epic. See you in class later. John, you are just crushed. Made about 25% off of watching and learning from this channel. Congrats on your goals. Can't wait for the next video. Congratulations, Matt. And guys, another one locked in 80% profit last night on XRP USD trade. Went back on a long short trade and it paid off. Everything Crypto Matrix is teaching me is giving me the confidence to not go into trade blindly. I'll definitely be a long term student as the information he teaches is literally life changing. Adam. Thank you so much for your support, buddy. You are crushing it, man. I couldn't be prouder of you. And guys, if you're looking to become a student, I am offering a service right now at $100 an hour, but I am only taking five hours at a time now just because of the massive influx of students. Basically, the dedicated ones are just jumping right in for five hours. So guys, we're just doing a five-hour thing now. If you want to jump in, that's the way to go. And that's honestly just a minimal course. I have up to 40 hours of content for you guys to learn. But the first five hours are absolutely pivotal in your experience to actually making good trades. So guys, if you want to learn to be a better trader today, inbox me at bitcoindeathstar at gmail.com. Guys, you won't regret it. I can't express enough. This is what I do every single day. I squeeze gains. I squeeze profits. I, I make something from nothing. And that's the beauty of leverage trading and what cryptocurrency has to offer, guys. And if you don't understand that yet, guys, honestly, you've been living under a rock the last five years. And it's time to come out from under it. So guys, if you want to learn to be a better trader, I make it fun. I make it easy. And guys, this is just something I won't be able to offer forever. So let's be realistic here. Jump on while you can. And you know, next year, there's going to be a much more extrapolated process. You know, I'll have a website and a whole bunch of different, or maybe even group sessions, all kinds of stuff. This is definitely expanding fast. And guys, if you want to be a student, inbox me straight away. We can get you started quick. But guys, there's so much price action going on. Be sure to subscribe and like. All right, guys, so I already have this one drawn out. I put this in my Discord yesterday for my students. And uh, basically, it was only two touches. So it, was, it wasn't it was sure. I actually just put, you know, this is a possible sending wedge formed. And lo and behold, guy, an ascending wedge. Look at that. That really formed out nicely. I woke up this morning to this, and I'm like, wow, that played out perfectly. So an extremely nice ascending wedge here. Now, what I'm looking for here, guys, is if we break above this line or we break below this line with a little bit of solidity okay so a few let's get rid of these for a second and just talk about the EMAs and the candles for a second so on the one hour we obviously still have the EMA 20 crossing down below the EMA 55 this was a, a little hope that we were gonna get a bounce but we didn't we didn't break the EMA 55 here on the one hour and we're still really struggling to get above it so I think that if we get you know, a break to the upside, it would be, you know, because some volume comes in. And uh, a good sign is that ascending wedges do tend to break to the upside. So guys, and what's really nice is a lot of confirmation. So for instance, we are in a bull market, we have a lot of positivity going on right now, we just had a big dip of, you know, 20 some percent, and compared to the last dip we had, which was over 30%. So for instance, if we look back, just to this high right here, when we're up at 41,000, bunch of people bought afraid they're missing out and then we dumped 30 percent and everybody was very worried there you know and that only happened over a few weeks so for instance what just happened if we were to actually stop right there we've only dumped about 20 percent guys so if we were to dump 30 percent you know we're down all the way at forty thousand dollars that's why i'm watching the forty one thousand dollar level that's why you guys have to pay attention to it too, because even if we just get another 30% drop, that's all the way down at 41,000. So let's zoom back in, okay? So again, guys, what I'll be looking for is if the EMAs get a crossing here, and if we pump back up, and if say like we close this 
with over a one hour, a one hour close above the top of this pattern, I'll be looking for a long and then this will be my target. And how I measure that, it's just from the back of the wedge, bottom of the wedge. Let's assume the breakout is right here, okay? So technically we could hit a little bit above the green box here. This green box is a measurement of previous top price actions and the wicks there, okay? So that could be the, the break price if we break up. And if we break down, we could end up back down at that around 41,000. So that's what I'm saying, guys. This pattern could have a really significance right now. I'm definitely watching this right now for a trade. This is what you guys need to be watching right now if you're watching the Bitcoin price. Again, if we break down below this with a strong close, okay, the EMA is crossing everything lining up, right? The volume, everything, then I'll be going short. If we break up to the top, okay, and we break through this top of this pattern, EMAs have crossed in a proper, for instance, the 20 crossing the EMA 55 to the positive side, volume lining up, everything lining up, the stocks, the MAC, everything, I will go long. Okay, guys? And another thing you can look for for even, I guess it's not short-term bullishness, but in general, get rid of everything for a minute and just look at the EMAs. So look, we are being held down by the 55 EMA here. Once we broke it, we actually pumped way above it. So for instance, right there to there, now that's 18%. So then we had a little bit of a consolidation right here, and then another pump up, and then the EMAs actually switched, showing some massive bullish pressure. So for instance, we pumped all the way up. This was a 75% pump, guys. This is from 30,000 up to 58,000. So guys, the reality is, is we are still in a short-term downtrend, okay? Notice the EMAs crossing here. This is on a four hour, okay? So we're not even touching the EMA 55 here. Once we break the EMA 55, that is a great sign, okay, for some bullish short-term behavior. Until then, guys, the reality is, is we are in a short, we are in a downtrend right now, okay, which means we could end up down to the $40,000 level, and that's why I am definitely watching that level right there. Okay, guys? So again, that's what I'm looking for in the Bitcoin price, but guys, obviously, if we flip above these EMAs, I will definitely be extremely bullish, and I will be holding bullish unless we break this purple trend line okay so i'm still bullish even though we are short-term downtrending unless we break this trend i am still bullish in the long term now guys a lot of people have been asking me about many other altcoins there's so much going on let's just go over a few real quick so link definitely had a, a solid dump i mean a long wick all oh, incredible wick for a brief moment my 13 dollar buys from many months ago was for a split second negative that was just a quick wick. And then uh, we are having the same kind of motion going on here. It almost looks like a triangle, like if I were to force draw it out or put it on the 15 minute scale. It almost looks like another triangle being formed of some kind here. Okay. This one's a little different though. It's not essentially ascending. Okay, so this could end up breaking either way and we have a very wide berth here. Again, I'm still very bullish on Link, so I think you know we're gonna get a break. I'm gonna be watching for a breaking of this trend line. And then you know, we do have some support right here at around 25.9. So this is a very interesting time for Link. Let's see if we actually break to the upside or we continue this, again, short-term downtrend. If we go to the four hourly, the EMA has switched bottom and we haven't broken yet. So as soon as we break this EMA, we break this trend line. If you guys like, I'm gonna zoom way in so you can see how clear this is. Look how that EMA is hugging that line. Okay, if we break that to the upside, that's a great sign. We might retest the EMA 55. Okay, so that's a great sign. So, but even that, just that little long right there, with 10x is eight percent. You know, six to eight percent, guys. That's that's big. Okay, that's a big trade. Link is definitely something you can trade over on Bybit, guys. And check all of my links in the description below, guys. Everything is there for you. And Bybit is just an amazing tutorial. It is just awesome. Okay, you can nip profits off that every single day. Okay, guys, so that's what I think is going on with the link in the short term. Let's talk about Electronium. A lot of people are very interested in Electronium. We had a lot of stuff going on. And guys, let's just talk about what happened. Okay, so for instance, we had a break up out of the descending wedge. We didn't quite hit the target. So let's just get rid of that for now. Then we formed a descending triangle. And this target basically was hit. So if we measure from back of wedge to bottom of price action, 
I get a breakdown out of the wedge, and that was basically hit right there. Okay, guys, I actually have this one drawn out already. But that's basically hit, okay? Right there. So an excellent, excellent trade right there. But now we're just kind of consolidating to the right, and we're kind of teetering around in between the support and resistance zone. So what's going to happen right now in the short term? Well, we're probably forming some other pattern right now. So let's see what we find. So let's see if I can find something. So this is what we have in the short term. Another triangle, lots of triangles today, okay? So again, same theories. If we break above the, the, the pattern line here with a solid close, flipping the EMAs, we can start to see some pressure up. We will start to see electronium going up. But what I honestly think is going to happen, guys, just to be transparent, is I think we're kind of going to bounce around and we, we might get a break to the downside, okay? And kind of just like that. And then hopefully another pump up. That's what's been religiously happening for electronium is we get this large pump consolidation up pump and it's been higher than the previous highs so guys this is very good for electronium I, I want you guys to really understand that we have been moving up very steadily that is awesome for electronium guys I mean remember all the work we've done look at all this work we've done look at all these trades we've made this is incredible guys I got in way back here even if I'm just holding till right now I'm sitting up 355 percent I'm I'm happy as a clam Okay, and you know, at many points, I've been much higher than that. Okay, guys, so I'm, I can't stress enough. You know, this is just like many other coins. It's going to have its day. You just have to be patient. Okay, it's, it's what I call a sleeper. It's still in its infancy stages. It's only been around several years. That's not a long time in the cryptocurrency space, guys. You've got to have patience there. And guys, I wanted to talk about Ethereum briefly. We're definitely in this huge wedge right now, trying to break free. We are at the bottom of it, guys. So. In all honesty, like I actually did take a long uh, on the 22nd and then got out of it pretty quickly, actually, up at 1693. And I'm looking for a, a little bit of just signs that we're going to actually get a good pump. So I'm looking for a breakout to the upside. So I'm going to go down to the hourly time frame. Okay. And I'm going to look for the EMAs breaking the EMA 55. Okay. Just in simplicity. There's many other indicators I use, but this is a trick that I like to really teach people. It works really strongly. And then, you know, if you wanted to add other indicators in, you could obviously add in Bollinger Bands and watch for a Bollinger Band play as well. If you're not too familiar with that, you know, check out Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands are awesome. Something I like to do is ride the waves. So, for instance here, if we can actually hold above the middle Bollinger Band right now, but, for instance, we are getting consolidating time right now. For instance, a tightening of the Bollinger Bands, a tightening up, which also means a breakout is imminent. So what I'm really hoping for, guys, is that we don't break to the downside, which, in all honesty, the stock RSI doesn't look great right now since we're heading up, which means we could be peaking and then starting to head down and break this pattern line. Okay, guys, so that could definitely happen. That's what we'll be watching. And in case that happens, it will be a very clear short signal in which the EMA will push away from the EMA 20 or the EMA 55, and then we will see a very clear short signal. Okay? And then even if you wanted to ride. You know, say like we get a pumping above the EMA 55 close here, okay? That's when I would be looking to go long, and you could probably look to enter that at around 1515 if it looks like we're getting a pump, okay? Reality is we are bouncing off several supports here and the pattern line, okay? So this is looking solid. So in reality, if we were to even just pump up to where we were before, you know, that's 41, <laughs> over 40%, guys. But 10x leverage, you know, that's over 400%. That's an incredible trade. That's just something that doesn't happen every day. So definitely keep your eyes on Ethereum. There's just so much going on, guys. You've got to watch this right now. And guys, I wanted to talk about institutions and miners accumulating through the Bitcoin chop while whales have become uncertain. Okay, guys, so a lot of new money has come into the cryptocurrency space in the last several months. Institutions, big players. Obviously, everyone's heard about Elon Musk. It's fluctuation up, you know, making a billion dollars to losing a billion dollars. Now, probably, you know, he's sweating. And in all honesty, guys, if he would have been watching my channel, he would have been buying a long time ago. He'd be sitting up 400%. Can you imagine putting in 600 million and walking away with many billions of dollars? That's what would have happened if he would have bought watching my channel. Let's be real here, guys. I know I'm not claiming to be some 
amazing guy, but I had some great buys, so I'm very proud of that. So, again, in a tweet Friday from Moskowski Capital, CEO Lex Moskowski noted that Bitcoin miners, a frequent scapegoat for price dumps and boogeyman of crypto Twitter, have actually begun accumulating coins as opposed to selling. So, guys, that's a strong sign that the bull market is still on. We are very bull. It's like flipping the bullish from the short term downtrend. So miners have stopped selling and started accumulating Bitcoin. Yesterday was the first day since December 27th when miners' position changed, turned positive. Miners were selling their Bitcoins for two months, and now we flip bullish. So guys, this is a great sign. And as coming from being a miner, this is another reason I, I, I know a lot about price action. I was a miner first, and the miners are really the backbone of the cryptocurrency community for sure. So basically, you know, if miners are accumulating, you should be accumulating. If they're selling, you should be selling. If they're buying, you should be buying. It's, it's that simple. And guys, let's be real here. A couple days ago was the perfect time to buy. Okay, so if you look to buy Bitcoin, you bought it at, you know, 45 and change, perfect buy. Same thing with Ethereum price equivalent, okay? If you bought, you know, right down here at just under 14, perfect time to buy, okay, guys? There's just, there is a right way to do everything, okay? And what's nice is when you're dabbling in many forms of trade, they all line up together and you can kind of see, oh, I should be over here now. Oh, I should be over here now. Oh, I should be trading this now. It becomes like reading a book, guys, and I can't stress it enough. Once you can read the charts, you can make positive trades, guys. It is that simple. If you want to learn to become a better trader, I am offering a service right now. Uh, you are now... Uh, able to sign up as a student for five hours minimally that would be five hundred dollars and guys just to be transparent you know next year i'm gonna have a website it's gonna be a much bigger thing my prices will be up from there so jump on now while you can i can only take a couple more students i've actually had just a massive influx guys so reach out to me today while you can learn the knowledge to make the trades i can't express it enough we are just having a blast i'm forming some aw awesome connections with you guys Everyone's having a great time, and that, that's really what I want you guys to take from that. If you want to have fun making money, become a student. Guys, these are just epic times in cryptocurrency. If you don't come from a rich family, a rich family must come from you. And with cryptocurrencies, I make it as simple as just riding that wave. Guys, I am Crypto Matrix. I'll catch you guys later.